Hey everyone, it's Alexander Robinson. Welcome to the channel, and this is my review for Monkey Man, which stars Dev Patel, who also wrote and directed this movie. This is actually his directorial debut. Huh? And this is simply a revenge movie. Dev Patel plays a man who goes by many names. He goes by Bobby, he goes by Monkey Man because he fights for money on the side and that's his persona. But the bulk of this story is that he's trying to go after a man who killed his mother and basically destroyed his entire village. That's the movie. So this movie was actually supposed to be released on Netflix. Dev Patel made the movie himself and then further down the line Netflix bought the film. But Jordan Peele of all people saw it and said, you know what? This deserves to be seen in a movie theater. So, along with his production company, Monkey Paw, he convinced Universal to buy the rights from Netflix, he became a producer, and thus this movie has a theatrical release. And I gotta say, right off the bat, while I'm not in love with this movie, this is the kind of movie that warrants to be seen in a theater. The fact that Jordan Peele believed that this movie should be seen in theaters is probably the best thing that could have happened to it because it is a crowd pleaser of a movie with some fantastic action scenes, it moves at a brisk pace, and it's never boring. For being Dev Patel's first feature film, he really does know how to craft some really fun action scenes. I don't think the movie is as brutal as I was led to believe initially, but it still has its share of violence, some of which makes you just wince and is uncomfortable to watch, and yet other bits of violence are just flat out awesome. And I think the action scenes of the movie are the best thing about it, because everything else, while not bad, is not really that deep or as well done as the action scenes. The characters are all pretty much one note, except for Dev Patel's Bobby or Monkey Man. Everyone else is just kind of there, they fulfill their roles, and they just have one thing going for them. The villains are pretty one note. One of them is just super slimy and super corporate businesswoman. The other is that ruthless law official. You have somebody who befriends Bobby further down the line who's very loud and egotistical and thinks about the bottom line in terms of profit. Charlotte Coppola is probably the most entertaining actor in this movie. He is so over the top and so fun to watch as this possibly coked up ring announcer slash fighting manager. He's just a ton of fun to watch, though he doesn't really add a whole lot to the movie's story itself. I also don't believe the story was as deep or as thought-provoking as the movie was trying to convey. The movie does attempt to try to say something about how government officials and corrupt police forces can seize uh, natives' land, but really it's just more of a backdrop to the revenge story here. And even then, the way the story is told is kind of repetitive, because in the first half of the movie, we kind of get a basic sense of Bobby's objective. We know what he's after. And then once you get to the second half of the movie, everything just stops to go into flashback to pretty much go into further detail the events that we already know. So in that sense, the movie does slow down a bit. But once we get to that last act with the big action scenes at the end, that's when it picks up and it becomes super satisfying. I don't have much else to say about this movie. At the end of the day, I'd say it's good but it's not great. This is definitely the kind of movie that, as Jordan Peele said, you have to see in a theater because it is very entertaining and it's not the kind of movie you sit at home and watch by yourself. I guess it could work with a couple of friends, but you probably want to be in a movie theater with a larger crowd, especially when that third act kicks in. I will admit that I do prefer something like The Raid 2, which I think is a far more brutal and far more intense action movie than Monkey Man is but it's still entertaining regardless. I'm not like over the moon in love with this movie, but I enjoyed it at the end of the day. And there you go, that's my review for Monkey Man. I hope you enjoyed it, and now I wanna know what you guys think about the movie. Whatever your opinions are, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell button to get notifications. If you wanna find me elsewhere on YouTube, you can check out my theme park and travel channel, Alexander Robinson Travel Channel, and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Letterboxd, Threads. I'll see you guys in the next video, but until then, have a good day, and take care of yourselves.